parking lot of Bentley's. Max 93 Victor Kilo 58. 93 Victor Kilo 58. Right there, Sergeant Desert, Sturbridge Police stop is going to be reported. You know why you're being stopped? You have no idea. That's your story and you're sticking to it. You just got yourself a ticket. You went through the red light. No. What are you supposed to, what are you supposed to do out of red light? What are you supposed to do out of yellow light? You're supposed to slow down or you're supposed to proceed through it? You had plenty of time to stop. I was sitting right there. That's why you looked at me, right? Were you wearing your seatbelt? You were? How's your driving record? When was the last, when was the last time you stopped? Thanks for having me right there. I'll just pull over to the left here in case somebody wants to back out.
registered owner will be receiving citation Romeo 367-1164. Where are you coming from now? Where's that? Mr. Shark. No, where? Okay. Um, anything illegal in the vehicle at all today? Just doing marijuana. How much? Five, six ounces. Can I see it? Hard or? Another marijuana. I was following a guy. I didn't go through a red light. I was sitting at 131. I know. Okay? I saw you sitting. You did not slow down and stop like you were I supposed did. to. Okay. I was proceeding to the next light to stop. And then okay. Two I issued right you there. a warning for it, regardless. Okay. okay? I appreciate it. I'm just saying. And I'm, I'm giving you a citation for your ticket. Okay. okay. So just hang tight back here. I see you got a, like a roach in plain view right there on the floor. Does your medical uh, marijuana allow you to smoke marijuana and drive? That's from what at like on a job site or something. I'm working. Okay. I'm not stoned right now. Okay. Well, you're gonna step back here. We're gonna take some field sobriety tests in just a moment. Do you have any knives or weapons or anything on you right now? Three, four. You want to slide over here as well? So new, I'm not. Yeah, nothing, nothing now. You know what? We might, um, I was going to say maybe a clerk could get better. Um, they don't know. I just want to take a, I just want to take a look at a few things first. All right. Um, yeah. Do you want to run him through some field sobriety tests for me? Can you run him through some field sobriety tests?
see if Steve Selfridge has somebody they can send over. Or actually, if they can't ask him if they can have 332 break away for a minute and go check that out for us. We're going to be tied up here for a few. Negative. I'm still out with this traffic stop. Uh, 324 is giving the sobriety exercise at this time. somebody regarding this because I'm not I haven't heard any legal updates yeah, in possession I, this yet. I haven't either. I you know, know there was dispensaries going in the fact but I don't I haven't seen anything about medical use so I am gonna call up. Does he have a medical uh does he have a note or something from the doctor? Yeah. Out of Northampton too, yeah. So I just wanna before I jump the gun. This this was way back from June twentieth. Yeah. to keep it doesn't say I, it was a 30-day supply if I remember correctly what the law said but there has been no dispensaries in Massachusetts I thought you had to get it from a dispensary yeah I thought there was two of them one in Worcester and one in Frame uh, would he grow this I didn't even ask him about that I, He just said you got it from a friend. Did you already have his info up? Hey, Ken, it's Earl Dessert. How you doing? Hey, good. I'm on a roadside stop right now, and I had to run something by you. You got a second? All right, well, I got about five ounces, six ounces of marijuana here. But he's got a, he's got a medical certificate out of Northampton, Mass, uh, a signed note. And I haven't seen anything come across yet that that's gone into play yet. Right. Nothing is in, in effect yet. No, it's, yeah, this. He's got a note from a doctor out of Northampton. He's got a certified um, mail term receipt from the Department of Public Health. Um, but that's all he has on him. And he, he said he was under the impression he can possess up to 10 ounces. And I remember when I was reading the law a while ago, I was saying a 30 day supply. But. Um, 
Yeah. So he's got, he's got, he's got six ounces on him right now that he just handed over. I asked him if he had anything legal on him. He's like, ah, uh, just a little marijuana. I said, how much? He's like, five, six ounces. I'm like, yeah, why don't you give that to me? So, he's like, I can look. Yeah, I, I think I have no choice here. I mean, that's not that's a lot of marijuana, but I'm just my only hesitation was he he sounded so legit with the, the documents and stuff. I'm like, did I miss something? Did that nothing come into effect yet? Okay, then then I will be calling you in a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's uh, that's that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Anyways, I mean, with that much, you only have one thing to do with intent. So, all right. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. He says he hasn't heard of that. Exactly. What's his name? What's your name? Ben. The problem is, there's nothing in Massachusetts yet that's come out that's not true. That, that illegally allows you to possess it marijuana. absolutely does. That law was passed. Okay. And you guys should know that as police officers. I have my recommendation. Right well, here's Clearly the deal. That the amount of re in, until dispensary is open in this state, yeah. a doctor's recommendation constitutes a medical card. Okay. That is the law. Okay. Well, with that amount of marijuana, I'm, I'm I have probable cause to believe that you have possession with intent to distribute that. Okay. So that's what I'm it's going under, on right it's now. Under 10 ounces, sir. I, I don't understand what you're talking about with this 10 ounce stuff. This is like. This is the, so you're going to say that I'm in trouble even though I'm following laws that were passed by the citizens of Massachusetts? I'm saying right now, your possession marijuana with the intent to distribute, which is illegal. It's in okay. a single container. and... I'm not going to argue with you about it right now, okay? I'm that? just telling you where we stand. I'm going to be checked. Do you have anything else in your vehicle? Sandwich baggies, scales, marijuana. More marijuana. Alright, you take it? Yep, it's gonna be mine. Okay. You want me in your car or um actually yeah, if you guys wanna go through and do the inventory and stuff, I'll start bringing him back. But I mean it has got a ton of weed in here and stuff, so I don't even know what this is. What is this stuff, sir? Ash is a Class C.
Okay. Yeah, I want you to do the beautiful. I'm going to transport him and start working him. Okay, that's going to go to the service place. Is this out of his pocket? Uh, no, it came out of the left side pocket. Well, I'm, I'm, put it, I'm putting this right in your pocket for now so we get this Just like, yeah, I got a little marijuana. I said, oh. I said, how much? He says, oh, about five, six ounces. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. Do you want to take that with you? Yeah, we'll take the phone with him. All right. If you guys can do the inventory, I'll just take them back and start processing. Good. And then you know I'm gone at 7, right? Yeah. Okay. What time is it, though? It's 6.30 right now. Just give me oh. a heads up. If he lets you go. If you want to grab a sheet and just uh, write stuff down when I... Yeah, that'll probably be best. Thanks, guys. Stuff. Seven was one. Mileage five zero five six. You've been arrested before, right? Yep. For what? Um, usually just stupid warrant stuff from not appearing at court or something. Like motor vehicle stuff? Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's the deal, um, Ben. I'm going to take you back, process you. Get, I'm not going to ask for any bail on you. I think, uh, I'll be honest, I think you, you believe that what you have is legal. I believe it's not. Okay, because there's been nothing that came across my desk saying this yet. So, um, I'm not going to ask for a bail other than $40 on you. I don't know what the clerk's going to say, but, um, and if you end up being right, which I don't think, but if you are, then they'll dismiss the charges, obviously. Get the door, please. I got your phone on you, me, by the way. So 
Off for me, please. Turn around and walk right to that door. Tell them to set them, please. I'll be right with you, all right? Mm -hmm. Get a bell on.
No, we, you can't really do it for marijuana. So, no. So, it was, um, may, I already asked him if there was a lien on it, too. Possibly, we could, because he's got Class C in there, but he doesn't really have a lot. Um, but, yeah, you, in, in a, this is kind of a, if there was a, t I think you have to have, like, traffic in amount, like 50 pounds. But, but good thought. Yeah, they can take it. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye. Gave me. I post the vehicle, second approach, I hand him his 
I didn't even hit him. I said, hey, by the way, because we smoked marijuana on second approach. Anything illegal in the vehicle? He goes, yeah, a little marijuana. How much? Five to six ounces. Really? <laughs> Just give me that. Why don't you give me that? Here, yeah, he gave me that. He goes, I'm, legally per I'm perfectly legal to possess it. I said, geez, I haven't seen anything come out on this yet. So, but then I went and searched the vehicle. Possession with intent. Anyway, I mean, even this alone, this is what he handed me. This is possession with intent. Yeah. Yeah. So, I was going to ask you to help. Can you give me a hand? Yeah. Process him? Um, Did you already book him and shit? No, I haven't even done that yet. So, um, I'm going to start weighing this up separately. And then, um, maybe you can take him out and start booking him while I'm writing weights and stuff now. Yeah, might as well. I'm about, probably going to have to sign in under my thing. That's brown. I don't know what that is. This is hash. No. I'm not really sure what that is. We're going to have to ask him. When you take them out, I haven't run on this right chip, so. Oh, yeah. But he's got a ledger right here, too. So he's obviously selling 110 grams to keep a track of all this stuff. Ben, I'm just going to advise you of your rights real quick. What's your last name? Murray. 
B-E-N. Is that your real name? Is it Benjamin or middle initial? R. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and have him or her present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before question if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to uh, you will still have the right to stop the question at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand what I've read to you? Yes, Having these rights in mind, you wish to speak to me now. Mass General Law, Section 276, Section 33A, the police official in charge of the station of the place of place having a telephone where the person is held in custody shall permit the use of the telephone at the expense of the arresting person for allowing the arresting person to communicate with his family or friends or arrange for release on bail or engage in the services of an attorney. Any such person shall be informed forthwith upon his arrival at the station or place the detention of his right to use the telephone. And such person shall be committed one hour thereafter. You understand that? You can sign it for me, please. Can you flip the fan on, please? Can I have that my wife? Ah, yeah, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm very rusty. Yeah, we're uh, very rusty. Two pipes. Okay, one of them. Yeah, pretty much on top of everything on my controls and stuff. Yeah, there was a burnt blunt on the passenger driver's side floor. Did you see that? I got the type. Uh, we're going to call for bail for you in a little bit. We'll let you make another phone call. So is this one that was in the ashtray? Okay. I didn't realize it looked like it was... Five fifty, right?
How much do you think that weighs? Eleven point four, roughly. Let's see if we can hear any pain that you crack in the back. Try to bear it off.